Ciao friends and welcome to a new unplugged video from SQL BI. In this video, I want to show you how to answer a question that appeared on our DAX pattern website. The pattern we are talking about is uh, the parent-child hierarchies and a user asked how to show values in the parent-child without performing the aggregation of the children. Now, whenever you show data in a parent-child, the value of the parent is typically the sum or the aggregation of the children. Barna wants a different kind of visualization. They already have data at the parent level and they want to show the data at the parent level without performing the aggregation of the children. Now, parent-child hierarchies are kind of complex to handle in DAX. The DAX code is always tricky and you always need to tweak with the filter context in order to understand exactly what is happening. So as we always do with unplugged videos, we start with the question and then we start building the solution step by step together. Let's get started. So let's start with uh, the pattern. The pattern is uh, the parent-child hierarchies. And uh, there are a lot of stuff to read that we are not going to run through. Let's go straight to the question. Now, Berna asks, uh, how can I calculate so that the matrix does not aggregate the parent and the ch child values per level? I ask for more uh, information and uh, I have an example. So we have a structure that contains uh, the parent A and B and then the children B, C, D, E, F. And then we have data. Now data is present both at the leaf level for C, D, E, F, but we also have data at the parent level A and B. Now the standard way uh, our pattern shows the data is to aggregate the values of the children on top of the parent plus the data of the parent if present. So I would show, for example, for A, 220, which is the sum of all the values plus 110. Now Barna wants to show only 110, that is the value that is already present in the fact table. This, of course, requires changing a bit the uh, the way the algorithm works. The first step is uh, to build uh, the example and then we start writing the code together. So let's go to the uh, Power BI model. I already created the tables. You see that we have uh, uh, first the dimension that contains uh, A, B, C, D, E and F as child and parent. And then I build the fact table that contains just uh, all the values uh, A, B, C, D and F and then uh, the, the numbers that are not shown. And finally, I build the relationship between the dimension and the fact table. So this is the starting point. If I just use the data as it is, and I show the value of uh, the child in a matrix, uh, and then I put the value, the values shown are correct, but I'm not showing the data as a parent child. I'm just have, I just have a flat structure A, B, C, D, E, and F. So the first step is uh, to build the parent child structure. That's kind of simple. We only need to go to the dimension and start building the regular column for the parent child. Uh, first, we need, well, with a bit larger font, okay, the full path, and we use path using the uh, dimension child and then the dimension parent. So that creates uh, A, A, B, A, C, A, D, the full path. And then we need to create uh, three levels. So we need level one, that is a path item of a full path. Well, IntelliSense is not working. So dim full path one. And then the same way we need two additional levels. So let's create them. Path item two, uh, yes, I also need to rename it level two. And finally, the third column, level three, and that's the third level. So this is the standard way we show data in a parent child with level one, level two, and level three. And finally, instead of slicing by child, we slice by first level one, then level two, and finally, level three. And now you see that the value shown for A is 220. 
whereas what we want is only the value stored in the fact table that is 110. Because in the fact table, here for A, we have just 110. We want to show that value only. The problem that we need to face is the fact that under level 1, the matrix is aggregating all the values that have level 1 as uh, that has a as level one and this includes all the rows that is the reason why all the values are aggregated what we want to tell the engine is uh, well when you are showing level one a i want to see only the values where the child is equal to a and nothing else this can be done by using calculate and force uh, the the child to be only a the problem the tricky part is understanding that we want to show a because a is stored in level one but then in level two we will have different values and of course our formula need to work at any kind of level so what we need to do is first detect the level that we are showing then once we have the level we will need to do a further step that is understanding the value of the child at that level once we have the value of the child it will be quite simple to build the calculation that shows the data only at that level Let's do it together. First, we need to understand the level. And to do that, we use, uh, again, the standard measure of the pattern. Let's call it current level. Uh, and that checks uh, if it is filter level 1. Plus, uh, we need two additional. Is filter level 2 and then is filter level 3. All together, we place current level here. And now you see that we have for level A, level 1, uh, A, we have 1. But then when we drill down, we go to level 2. And if we drill down further, that shows level 3. So this measure that is explaining the pattern tells you which level you are browsing. Now that we have the level, we can understand uh, how to show what is the value of the child at that level. That requires another measure. Let's call it current child. And we need to use switch. Uh, switch. Depending on the current level. When the current level is equal to 1, then we just grab the values of the level 1. When the current level is 2, we get the values of the level 2. And when the value is 3, we got the values of level 3. Of course, uh, these need to be done for all the possible levels that you have in your model. Maybe 4, 5, 6, uh, whatever. Now we have the current child. We place it here. And that shows uh, A, B, E, F, C, D. So for every level, it shows uh, the value at that specific level. Now that we have the current child, we can build our third measure. That is, uh, let's call it no aggregation. What does no aggregation does? Well, let's store in a variable the current level, and we just compute the current, not the current child. We want the value A, B, C, or D. And then var result, we use calculate. We compute the sum of the packed value. And here we force the child to be equal to the current child. So we just ask that the fact, well, we can do that at the dim level. That is better dim child equal the current child. Return result. And if I did it correctly, we can get rid of the current child, we can get rid of the current level, this is the sum of value, and if I place no aggregation, that shows 110, 40, 15, 25. So the value that is shown at the level is only the value that is present in the fact table, without performing the aggregation of the individual children. And it just works. Of course, uh, this is not a perfect visualization. We should hide uh, this row or put something different. Uh, but all the rows uh, that are below the, below the maximum level that can be reached with the parent-child should be hidden. 
Again, this technique is explained in the DAX pattern website and it's not useful if I explain it, it further. You can go on the parent child pattern and look at that. Uh, that works. Uh, what if I want to do that with Excel? I want to show you uh, just a small detail because I hit the problem recently and uh, it's worth looking at that. This works nicely, it shows a parent child and the no aggregation value. But if I go in Excel, through external tool, I use Analyze in Excel. Okay, where are you, Excel? Here. Uh, from here, I can use uh, level one, then level two, then level three. But if I show my no ag measure, you see that it doesn't work. It shows uh, 15, 25 at the leaf level, but it's not showing the totals, neither A nor B. And it took me a while to understand where the problem was. Uh, and actually that's a default that changed some time ago. If you go in the design part uh, and the subtotal, by default, uh, uh, Excel does no longer show the subtotal. So if you just select the uh, show subtotals at the top of group, uh, now our no aggregation measure works fine and it shows uh, the value without performing any further aggregation. So as you have seen, the standard parent-child uh, pattern aggregates uh, the children with the parent. Uh, this is mostly the desirable, the desired behavior and it works just fine. But if you want the behavior to be different, uh, then calculate is your best friend. Whenever you work with parent-child, you need to pay attention to small details. You always need to find the level at which you are computing your measure, and then depending on the level, you grab the value that you want. Finally, calculate makes the magic of uh, filtering the fact tables, sh only showing only the values uh, that you want to retrieve. So, it takes a bit to understand all the details, uh, but DAX is powerful and is your best friend whenever you need to perform these kind of calculations. Enjoy DAX!